What's good, family? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, we're going to learn about sidechain compression and when to use it, all right? So sidechain compression is used when you want to clean up your mix. So let's say you have a bass, you have a bass line going, and you have a kick drum going, and they're going at the same time. Now, we know that the <clears throat> kick and the bass are going to share similar frequencies which causes your if they're if they're playing together it's going to cause uh, a muddiness in your mix and side chain compression what it does is let's say you have a you have your bass and you're going to have a compressor on the bass and what happens is you're going to use the kick your, your kick to trick to trigger your compressor to tell it to duck the bass whenever the kick is happening. Uh, so whenever the kick hits, the bass will drop. So it's going to be like a, a ducking effect or, uh, you know, a pumping or a pumping or ducking effect, if you want to call it that, all right? So let's get started. Let me move my desk a little bit. All right. So right here we have a bass, and I, I just made a straight bass... Um, it's a single bass note. Easy to show you with the, uh, you know, with the effect. Here's the kick. All right, so they're sharing the same, you know, frequency range. The, the kick has a little bit of high end to it, but let's just say this is a muddy, uh, a deeper kick. All right, so what you're gonna do? I'm doing this in Ableton because it's just a lot easier in Ableton. MPC is a little, um, little clunky when it comes to this. It's just easier in Ableton. Um, so yeah, you have your bass here, right? So we, you take your bass, you're gonna add a compressor to the bass right after, all right? Now what you wanna do is you wanna raise your ratio pretty high. You want to bring down your release pretty pretty low, and bring your attacking your release pretty low, right? Now what you want to do is, and I'm, and I'm doing these as extreme settings so you can actually hear the pumping effect. Like you hear it together now, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the threshold. Now you can see there's some kind of compression happening. All right, next thing you wanna do is you wanna click this little arrow in Ableton, all right? Click this arrow, it's gonna say side chain. So you wanna take the side chain, click that, and underneath it, it says audio from, no input. You're gonna click that drop down menu, and we're gonna to go to Ableton Kit. That's my um, drum rack, all right? Now you hear it ducking. Oh, hold on. I messed up my fault. Okay, so now... So now you you see it's ducking. Oh. Make sure you're using a good pair of headphones or a good pair of monitor speakers when you're listening to this demo. I should say that and I should say that in front of every video, but let's drop this down some more. So now that every time that kick is hitting, that bass is dropping. And then you can come in here and just adjust, adjust your settings to taste, you know. The ratio is kind of like the the strength of your. Now I wouldn't do it this extreme but you would just kind of mix it to taste, you know? So 
So let's cut the compressor off. And you can see the gain reduction here, all right? So yeah, if you could learn, if you learn this and you get this kind of down, learn how to side chain and, um, and you learn how to mix it to taste properly, this will help you clean up a lot of your mixes so that the kick and the bass are not fighting for room. Uh, the kick, you know, the frequency from the bass will be freed up when the kick is playing. So... I hope this helps out. I hope this helps you out with your mixing. Practice it out on Ableton Live. If you got Ableton, um, like I said, I found it a little bit harder to do in the NPC. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing most of my beats in Ableton now anyway. So, I hope this helps you. I hope this helps you out. Quick tip. It's a quick production tip. If this does help you out a little bit or if it taught you anything, please click the like button below. Uh, please comment below and let me know what you like to learn in the future. All right. Uh, please share the video with your friends. I'll leave a, um, I'll leave a, what you call it. I'm going to leave two classes below. I'm going to leave a class for EQ and I'm going to leave a class for compression. They're both paid classes, but you know, once you take those classes, you'll, you'll have EQ and compression down. I'll leave a link in the description below for both of those. Um, you can check it out at your leisure. Also, if it's your first time here, make sure you go down below. It'll be the third link and grab my free drum kit. If it's your first time here, thank you for watching the video all the way through. Um, if you've been here before, make sure you sign up for La uh, loop. Make sure you sign up to loop cloud. Uh, before January 2nd or 3rd. Um, right now they have an um, uh, annual deal. Plus you get a free, uh, you get a free plugin from them if you sign up uh, before January 2nd. So check out Loop Cloud. Get my free drum kit. If you if it's your first time here also, make sure you check out the Amazon links. Uh, if you, if you want to see what my studio is like and what's in my studio. Uh, Thank you for watching, man. This is how to do side chain compression in Ableton Live for beginners, and I'm out. Peace.